Hey everyone, the numbers are in for September 2020 over at Calypso in Panama City Beach. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. It was a very encouraging September for a market that was probably lagging a little bit behind the rest of the condo market. Um, let's get right to some of the numbers. First of all, remember um, showing activity. This is a chart uh, from a company called Showing Time that tracks the actual number of showing appointments. And of course, early on at the pandemic, remember we started watching this because we were expecting to see quite a fall off in the number of people getting out to look at real estate. But we also wanted to follow this to see when they started coming back to the market. That would be one of the early signs that maybe the market was, was picking up. And as you can see, the orange line being 2020, the blue line being 2019, since early June, late May, early June, we've really been tracking pretty consistently, um, showing about the same amount of real estate this year as we did last year in 2019. So from there, we wanted to know, okay, are people getting out just to get out of the house or are they getting out and actually making offers and doing deals? So another data point that we've been tracking is this number of new contracts. When people get out, are, they, are, are contracts being written? Are people making offers and are sellers accepting those offers? Um, for the month of September, it was again, it was, it was more than just uh, strong. It was, just, it was very, very active. Look, 67% more contracts were written on condominiums in, um, in this week than they were the same week last year. The following week, uh, the following week, 74% more contracts written this week, 27% more the following week, 17% more the following week, 52% more the following week. And, and again, I've said this a lot recently. Think about that in terms of growth. If we were, we're showing about the same amount of real estate, right? So you might expect to see 5%, 4%, 8% more contracts, maybe 2% off maybe 10% more, but we're seeing some just astronomical numbers of, of a, a market that's that much more active. Um, when we look at the overall market, this is, again, if we're going to compare uh, condominium activity with Calypso, I want to look at only the buildings that have been built since 2005, just the condos that are newer in our market. And uh, again, the red line here represents the number of units for sale, the black line represents the number of closings. But the biggest takeaway of all this um, is this months of inventory number. It's a, it, The number um, takes into account the number of units that are for sale and the number of closings that are happening and the rate of sales and factors this all in to give us a nice tidy number to look at. And remember, in this months of inventory number, traditionally five or six months of inventory has represented a neutral market, meaning theoretically that um, you put something up for sale, the real estate agent would take about 30 days to run a magazine ad or a newspaper ad or what have you. Um, it would take another four months, three, four months or so for people to see what was for sale, negotiate, and then actually close the deal. So I sort of contend that it's more like four or five months of inventory, more four or five months represents a neutral market now because it just doesn't take us 30 days to get marketing going. We can get with the internet, we can get marketing going very quickly. So if even four or five months represents a neutral market, anything under that um, is a strong market, is a seller's market. That means things are happening faster than average, faster than neutral. So look at where we've been in the overall condo market. July, we were at 2.98 months of inventory, theoretically meaning that everything that was for sale would sell out and close in 2.98 months, just about three months if nothing else was added up for sale. Very hot is <laughs> the short, the short version of all that is it's just a very strong seller's market. Um, we're negotiating. Um, I just sent a text message before I hit play on this. We're sent, we're negotiating a multiple offer situation right now in Calypso. Uh, I did one last week at a property over off of Thomas drive. So we're in a very hot, strong seller's market still in the condo market. If we look at Calypso specifically, um, a little less, follow the, the bouncing head, um, we're a, a little less data to look at, so the numbers are a little bit different, but look at Calypso. The red line represents the number of units for sale. This is not including Tower 3. I just want to look at the Gulf Front units of what we can buy and sell today. I know there's some units over there for sale and some assignments, but I just want to focus on that. Um, 
The red line represents the number of units for sale. Again, the black line represents the number of closings. Calypso has been a little more sluggish, um, but much better, much, much better than we'd been late November through or November through April, where we were just stalled. You know, when you get into anything above seven or eight months of inventory, things are really slow. So to see 33, 34 months of inventory is just a stalled flat market. Uh, we were a little encouraged in July and August. We were back to about neutral. Uh, we didn't have enough closings in September to keep that pace. So we're still a little flat, but we're still, this is still encouraging to where we were six months ago. Um, let me go through this and I'm, I've got a comment for you on banking and financing in Calypso, which is affecting some things. But let's go through the numbers real quick on units. Um, organized, let me organize this by price for you. These are just, this is anything that is sold or under contract um, right now in Calypso. So uh, we had a one bedroom, two bath with bunks sell for 323. We've got this under contract. Um, it has been extended almost 30 days because of some banking, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, the asking price is 463. Um, another one, another two bedroom, two bath with bunk under contract, asking price 465, 900. Another one, the asking price was 468. Any of these pending, pending active contingents mean it's under contract. So these are the asking prices. These are not the sales prices. 465, 9, 468. Asking price 479 900 asking prices under contract 509 asking prices under contract you can see from there an updated unit um, 5279 under contract 529 under contract um, unit 612 is uh, closed at we closed that one for 612,000 unit 201 is under contract the asking price was 624 900 uh, Another three bedroom, the asking price was 635, and that's also under contract. Uh, and in fact, there's one on here that is will change today. We're negotiating a multiple offer situation in Calypso this morning, probably will be under contract this afternoon. Uh, one thing to keep in mind about financing, and one thing that, that I know some agents and buyers are having a problem or are running into to a problem, um, the litigation over at Calypso causes. Um, major issues for a number of lenders once they once they see any type of litigation plenty of lenders once they see any type of litigation in a condo um won't just simply won't loan um there are a number of condo lenders in the market that know condo financing understand the dynamics of condo ownership and will actually take the time to sit down and evaluate the merits of, of litigation and make decisions from there on whether they will lend or not. Um, the One of those three bedrooms that closed, we had delayed about two weeks because the lender took a look at the litigation and uh, and decided it was okay for them. We had another one that the lender took 30 days to decide that they weren't going to do the con to do the, the deal. So we moved that um, we moved that buyer who was working with another agent. We gave them the name of someone that could close. They moved it over. It's now under. It's now going to close. Uh, we're maybe five six days away from closing that one. Um, I sort of suspect that because because you have so many different real estate agents working in the market. Some are very experienced selling condos. Some are new and don't aren't quite as experienced yet. Some just don't know. Some sell more houses than condos and don't know the dynamics of this. Um, and I suspect that there are a fair amount of contracts being written that fall apart because people simply aren't with the right lender. There, there, there are easily four lenders right now that will loan in, in Calypso so that it really shouldn't be a problem, but it very much is a problem. And what happens if a buyer is with the wrong lender to start with and a lender comes back and says, oh, wait, there's litigation in here. We're not going to lend, even though we may have we may be able to send that buyer and that agent for other ones that will. The problem now gets into the buyer's mind of, wait a second, a lending institution isn't going to lend in this building. Why should I be buying in here? Maybe I should look somewhere else. And, and that's part of the problem also. So when we're when we're working on the selling side of things, we make sure that before we 
advise a seller to commit to signing a contract that we know that the buyer not only is pre-qualified, but is pre-qualified with a lender that can loan in Calypso. Uh, very important part of it. So anyway, I hope you guys get some understanding of what's happening in here. Calypso is doing okay if you're working with the right lender. Still very, very, very good demand in the market. In fact, you can see from this, it's picked up quite a bit in Calypso in the last three months. Um, and I know most of you are already on the e-alert system, but if you're not, remember, uh, shoot me a text or an email, we'll sign you up and you can get an email anytime a unit goes up for sale, goes under contract, changes price, and most importantly, anytime it sells. And you'll get the accurate sales price and sales date, not what your neighbor told you or another condo owner told you. It's the actual number straight out of our MLS system. Um, and we can set that up for you to come to you once anytime anything happens so you could get potentially multiple alerts a day we could we could throttle it back to once a week twice a twice a month once a month if you wanted so it's a nice way to stay on top of the market with very accurate information um, i know that's a lot but hope you found it helpful we'll be back in touch next month uh, with some more updates thanks